What is upholstery cleaning and why do we need it anyway? Upholstery is something we literally come into contact with every single day. It's the fabric and cushioning that covers our sofas, our lounge suites, our dining chairs, ottomans, cushions, yes, and even our curtains. So why have you decided to inquire about upholstery cleaning anyway? For some, the reasons are vague, for others, I know exactly why, and for some, the reasons are really pressing. But inevitably, it always begins and ends in the same way. And that is, you ask for a quote, and the price is somewhere along the line, you make a decision. So why did you ask for a price anyway? Typically, it's because you don't know what else to ask for. Everywhere you look, whether you go online or in magazines or any other media platform, there's prices given. And so it just sort of makes sense that we ask about price when it comes to upholstery cleaning. But here's the thing, giving a price doesn't actually explain to you the process or the outcome. And the reason most cleaners will always answer with a price or a quote is simply this, they are not trained in the science of cleaning. Now consider that you're getting a price from someone who actually isn't trained in the area. So long before we begin with a price, we must begin with a why. So let's talk about understanding your why, and that is the reasons you've called. And that can be really varied, and examples are someone who has their upholstery clean regularly. We have some clients that like their upholstery clean twice, or sometimes four times a year. For others, Typically, they may be having a baby. And so it's really important that the fabric and all the surrounds are in tip-top condition for a new baby coming home. Others, they have allergies coming into spring seasons, obviously the worst. Others have been through winter, the house has been closed up, and everything just feels a little bit yucky and dank. For some, they have dogs or dirty husbands or messy kids. So there could be kid vomit or milk, could be the pet has twinkled on there. Often there's dog or cat hair all over it. There can be other things like spills. Could have spilt a drink, cup of tea, or odor issues. Could be from cooking, could be from smoking, or indeed the pets. Understanding these reasons are the key to understanding where we get to go to next. So giving a price doesn't actually help you achieve always what you want. first and foremost is what we call dry vacuuming. Now you can do this at home with your vacuum cleaner and with your upholstery tool, but the best results happen with a commercial vacuum and a power head. It's designed to remove hair, debris, uh, dried dirt, pollen, dead skin cells, dust mite, eggs, and any contaminant that's not normally there. It's best done at least bi-weekly for the best maintenance results. The second method of cleaning is VLM, or very low moisture. Colloquially, it's known as shampooing, but the best results happen with a product called encapsulation solution. We spray this solution on and we use a machine called an Orbot that agitates. It creates a foam, and in that foam we get what we call an encapsulation crystal. And what that does is it surrounds the heavy contaminant, or the dirt, holds it in a crystal, and what happens is it just gets easily removed after that. The advantages are this, it dries really quickly. Perfect if you've got to have the upholstery uh, dry before the kids come home from school or you have guests coming that night. Normally dries within 60 to 90 minutes and definitely refreshes the fibre. Suitability is for light to medium soiled upholstery. It's perfect on cotton, on wool, on silk, faux suede, polypropylene fibres. And with our premium product, it also has an antibacterial agent and a mild protector for that extra layer of cleaning and protection. The third and final methodology is what we call hot water extraction. You'll know it as steam cleaning. We apply a solution to the fibre, we all bot it in, so the solution goes beneath the, beneath the subsurface of the fabric. We then use a hot water extraction tool. We then steam clean the fibre. What it does is it dissolves dirt and other contaminants. Could be body oils, spilt drinks, 
uh, milk, any other contaminant that may well be on your fibre. And it's the deepest, most effective way of removing dirt and contamination from fibre. The advantage is it's the deepest, most restorative clean that you can get. It'll leave your fabrics feeling like fresh sheets that have just come in off the line. It works particularly well with cotton, with faux suede, with silk and polypropylene. And with our premium product, we also have one with an antibacterial agent and a mild fabric protector. I've heard of fabric protectant. Is it a con job? Most manufacturers will apply a protectant to both fabrics and fibres, which is upholstery material and carpets. And here's the reason why. They want it to be the most resilient and maintain its luster during the warranty period. So yes, it is important and it does work. And here's seven things you didn't know about protectant. Number one is it protects most fabrics. Fabric protector actively resists soiling and liquids. Number two, it penetrates deep into fibres to protect the fabric from inside out. Number three, it provides an active barrier against the abrasion of dirt and dust particles, increasing fabric longevity. Number four, contains ultraviolet inhibitors. And this is to reduce fabric fading from indirect UV or ultraviolet exposure. Number five, vacuuming dirt, dust, pollen and allergens becomes easier because the protector resists soiling. Number six, the protector resists liquids, giving it time to pat dry. Number seven, water-based formula, non-silicon and non-toxic. So now that you know you need upholstery cleaning and what it is, all you have to do is determine what level of service is required. We have the chart that we've provided. You simply have a look at that. You can contact us. We're happy to come out and do a free fabric and upholstery audit. We'll help you understand what your requirements are and the likely outcomes. After that, it's just a matter of booking a date and a time, and we're happy to come out and rejuvenate and refresh your fabric and upholstery.